Denmark are forced by injuries to introduce an untried goalkeeper, 21-year-old Trolls Rasmussen. Two of their best-known talents are also missing, Alan Siemensen and Frank Arneson, but nine of this side are full-time professionals outside Denmark, with 21-year-old midfield player Jesper Olsen of Ajax the most highly rated. Only three of Bobby Robson's first 11 were not in the last side chosen by Ron Greenwood, Phil Neal, Russell Osman and Tony Morley. But under the new management, there's a definite switch of shape and emphasis with Morley a third forward player in a 4-3-3 formation. contrast between the two goalkeepers tonight Peter Shilton who's seen it all 33 years old last Saturday and the Danes having to call up Trolls Rasmussen for Ray Wilkins he has captained the senior England side once before but only in the second half of last year's match against Scotland at Wembley when Dave Watson had to go off injured Alf Ramsey started with defeat, Don Reavy with a win, Ron Greenwood with a draw. So what do the fates have in store for the new England manager tonight? A raucous full house of 45,000 in Copenhagen, the audience for Bobby Robson's first night with the manager and his players conscious of their responsibilities, not just here, but on the game's wider frontiers. England, of course, in white, defending the goal to the right in the first half. It's a blustery evening. The weather here has been showery. The pitch in good condition. Bertelsen for Denmark. And before the captain, Per Rundfeld, who was a scorer here four years ago when England won by four goals to three. And there is the feeling in both camps, although it's a dangerous thing to say, that there should be goals in this game. Both sides going into the match with attacking lineups. Here is Lars Bastrop, who plays for Hamburg in West Germany. Brought away, though, by Ken Sansom. Trevor Francis, the one-man forward for England. And back from Soren Lerbu. And a big cheer for the 21-year-old. Six foot, six inches tall. His first cap. Soren Busk. Rundfeld, who has played more games for Denmark than any other in history, his 73rd cap tonight. And Jesper Olsen, the smallest man on the field. Rundfeld. Lebu, another of the Ajax contingent. is also from Holland, Charles Korber, who's given the free kick against Phil Neal. 
You may remember that he refereed England against Czechoslovakia in Bilbao in the World Cup and also the World Cup semi-final, a controversial one between West Germany and France. Header from Russell Osman. Shilton indicating to Sanson that he had time and time to pick a pass forward to Mariner. Graham Rex wearing 11. Francis battling to keep it in play. Wide clear direct from Italy, Trevor Francis, in good heart and good spirits with his side, although in the early stages of the Italian First Division, Sampdoria joint top, having won their two opening games. This is Rumpfed. Busk looking for the number five, Ole Rasmussen, who's no relation to the goalkeeper. Jesper Olsen. Bastrop. Bertelsen. Plenty of men forward here for Denmark. Nine is Alan Hansen. Lebu. With such an effective left foot. Hansen. Lebu winning the tackle against Neil. And Phil Neil is cautioned for his second offence. He played here four years ago, Neil. Lebu was the player fouled. Phil Neil scored and gave away a penalty on this ground four years ago. And his tale of adventure continues with an early caution in the fifth minute. And a threatening free kick for the Danes. Taken by Lebu, who couldn't bypass the wall. Hansen with a miss kick. This is Elkjau trying to use his pace. And Paul Mariner, who's been called back to defend at the free kick. Not shirking his responsibilities. Wilkins. Brian Robson wearing eight tonight. And then the booze go up for Phil Neal. He will be undaunted, I'm sure, by that. This is Tony Morley starting on the right for England. The header was from Busk with Francis challenging strongly. And then the volley from Robson. The flag went up momentarily for an England player in an offside position. Mariner struck it well. England come here with a proud defensive record of not having conceded a goal in more than seven hours of international football. But they haven't scored in the past four hours of play. The goalless draws, of course, against West Germany and Spain in the World Cup, still fresh in the memory. Trevor Francis here, the last England player to score, in fact, against Kuwait. And he wins the free kick. Wilkins. Nice turn by Mariner against Busk. It was Morley coming in beyond Lebu. Wilkins had to wait too long. It was Bertelsen who touched it from him. And Mariner winning a ball well in the air. Now Robson, can he keep it in? And Mariner again. And Rex. England get the goal through Trevor Francis. Rex had the first shot. Rasmussen could only get his body in the way. 
and Francis from right on the line. Seven minutes gone. But it was Paul Mariner who won an important ball then, and Brian Robson, who gave chase, turned it back, and then it dropped here for Ricks. Blocked by Rasmussen, and Francis scores. And a marvellous start for the regime of Bobby Robson. The England manager saw Denmark play here a month ago and felt that they were poor at the back in an international against Finland. Elkia. Sanson preventing the corner. Initially, but Elkia finally deflecting the ball behind off Sanson. Bertelsen playing it short. In from Hansen. And it was Shilton's fist that was above the rest. And Morley trying to run the ball to safety. Tangling with Lerbu, the free kick given to Denmark. Hansen. Blocked by Mariner. But with the use of the hand. England thought they'd got away with it. Bertelsen over the ball for the Danes. Shilton has called for four in the wall. And the deflection of Sansom from Neil's attempt to clear, almost embarrassing England. In the end, Shilton was able to recover. Robson's pass. And a push by Busk on Mariner. Here's Morley with Neil in support. Francis. Now Sansom. A lot of movement off the ball from England. And then Neil and Butcher momentarily leaving it to each other. Wilkins. Here's Morley. And Lebu playing left back tonight. And a lot of the Danish experts feel he's better served in midfield. But Tony Morley is his responsibility at the moment. Wilkins whipping in the early cross. back from Soren Lerbu. Elkow making the run. Osman going across with him. And the referee quickly pointing for the free kick. England haven't really begun convincingly at the back themselves. Lebu with the free kick onto the head of Terry Butcher. Front fed. It took too long and it was Graham Ricks who did the donkey work for England and forced the error. Another throw surprisingly given to the Danes. Sansom winning it back temporarily. England have never lost a full international to Denmark. Butcher and Sansom here. Both 
can be counted amongst the successes in the World Cup campaign. Neil going on ahead of Morley. This is Francis. Butcher, everything ahead of him. Rather too ambitious in the direction of Tony Morley. He plays more often on the left for Aston Villa. Ebu in the end with a rather suspicious looking throw. Good jump by Mariner, who's won some important headers in the opening chapter of this game. Sansom. And Robson is onside, and Rasmussen used his height to good effect, kept his eye on the ball. As Robson made one of those breaks from midfield and caught Denmark square, which is another encouraging point for England. Rasmussen. A touch from Mariner, collected by Robson. Now Neil. Francis coming short for Morley. And fell theatrically. And uh, the challenge from Ivan Nielsen. Trevor Francis, who got his first goal in the Italian First Division at the weekend for Sampdoria. England have been working hard at their set pieces in training. And Morley over the ball, then Ricks. And here's Morley. The linesman is flagging as Mariner goes in. Blocked by Rasmussen. Back from Wilkins, and finally the goalkeeper hangs on. The play is allowed to go on. The testing time this for Charles Rasmussen, who's the third choice. These two teams bracketed in Group 3 with Luxembourg, Greece and Hungary. With just one qualifying for the final stages in 1984 in France. It's Ricks going through the middle. The one-two play between Sansom and Wilkins. Sansom, who unveiled a long throw in the World Cup. And Terry Butcher, as he did then, has gone up on the near post. Rasmussen makes a catch that will help his confidence. Still a student, Charles Rasmussen. Plays for the league leaders in the Danish First Division, Aarhus. Rundfed. Bastard. Cuts it back from Bertelsen. Then to his left. Olsen here is one. And Bastrop couldn't collect. And then went down after he'd missed the ball. With only the nearest contact with Terry Butcher. out by Ronfed. And here's Hansen. 
Elka, who was doubtful with a groin strain, but shows a turn of pace. And has to settle in the end for a throw. Olsen. Well, you can see the acceleration and the exciting nature of this young player, Jesper Olsen, who found the overdrive and accepted the responsibility of taking the defenders on, and he's won Denmark a free kick. Soren Busk has come forward from the back. Good covering header again from Mariner. Graham Ricks, who can expect a freer role, perhaps, under Bobby Robson than he had in the World Cup. And he was forced, rather, to sit on the left-hand side of midfield. Here's Francis. And now Sansom timing the run well. Mariner had to spin on the left foot. The mobility of Paul Mariner, refreshing as though he shed perhaps a care or two temporarily of the position of Ipswich Town. Hansen, another of the Hamburg players on this side. Rundfeld. Here's Ivan Nielsen. Bertelsen. Hansen once more. England rather retreating. And in the end, we're able to initially pick off the pass from Rockford, but Sansom, in trying to guide it back for Shilton, has given away a rather unnecessary corner. which Olsen will take, and Bastrup comes up on the near post. But it wasn't the kind of service he would have appreciated. The ball played behind him by Olsen. Hansen. Ole Rasmussen. Nielsen. On the far side, Leabu. up here with Bertelsen, who played against England at Wembley three years ago. And wanted a free kick then, but wasn't forthcoming. Francis just dragging it from Hansen. It's fair to say that in the opening 20 minutes, England had looked more impressive going forward than they have when Denmark have been in possession. Elkia. Free kick given against Wilkins. Almost on the advice of the crowd. Followed away by Sansom. Nielsen. Sansom again getting a foot in. And then Osman. Important occasion really for Russell Osman, who still perhaps has to establish his credentials as an international centre half. Give him the chance with the injury to Phil Thompson. I'm hoping I'm sure to make the same advance that Terry Butcher has had. Mariner. Here's Wilkins. Morley again the way out on the right for England. A return pass from Mariner. Sansom's got forward into the box beyond the far post. It's Francis who goes in with the header. And then Sansom tried to turn it back to a supporting player. 
Here's Rex. And the extravagant touch was from Sansom. It didn't quite come off, but it was nice to see. Bertelsen. down after the collision with Butcher. The England midfield players finding space when they want it. it was Robson on that occasion. And Mariner flattened from behind by Soren Busk. Again, taking charge of proceedings over the ball. That's Francis and also Russell Osman, who strikes a good ball to their right. Elkia has just come back to perhaps cover that. And it goes the other direction towards Ricks. It's a rather casual back heel from the New England captain. Elkia, the player profiting. Bastrop had run offside. The referee spotted the linesman's flag, saw England were in possession and let the game go on. Lerbu and Olsen has found space here to take on Neil and get past him so simply and waste the cross. Phil Neil left without cover. Francis, Rasmussen committing himself, and there first. Bertelsen. Bastrop. Brought away by Sansom. Twenty-five minutes gone. England still lead by the goal after seven minutes from Trevor Francis. And here is the scorer. Being policed again by Nielsen, but the pace to lose him, and Rasmussen was nowhere on the cross. Osman. Bastrop making the break, covered by Russell Osman. England setting out on a competition that they've never won, of course. Finished third in 1968. This is Olsen. Bastrop. And it's Elkia. Well, Sansom was sure that the ball would drop over Elkia's challenge. Sansom. Run from Francis. Trying to turn just too quickly. Denmark marking man for man at the back. Ivan Nielsen with the responsibility of looking after Francis. And there first again. Osman. But where the Danes aren't picking up is in the middle of the field. And they've left Wilkins. Corner off Nielsen. Robson taking up his station on the edge of the area. Butcher and Mariner again on the near post. 
And it's Osman who attacks the ball. Good goalkeeping under pressure. Brought forward here by Bertelsen. And the flag stays down, and the bounce wasn't kind for Bastrop. Even might have felt that Bastrop had run offside. There, Boo. Bertelsen. And now Bastrop given room to turn. Romp fed the sweeper, venturing forward. Ole Rasmussen. And now Hansen. Once again, the Danes have committed a lot of players to push in on the England back four. But they couldn't find the pass for them. Francis, who's looked so lively. And it's Ricks, who's stolen a yard. And now Robson. At full stretch. Helped here by Sansom. Mariner's checked out beyond the far post. It's the orthodox cross aim for Paul Mariner. Olsen. And it's Elka to take on Osman. And he's got the pace. And the referee had a good look. And no penalty, but England's still in trouble. Olsen. Finally, Butcher gets some distance into the header, but Preben Elkia felt that Russell Osman hauled him down deep inside the area in this incident here when they seem to be pushing from both players. And a firecracker thrown behind Shilton's goal to add to the drama. Olsen. Here's Lebu. And now Hansen. Steered back by Robson. Often the defensive part of Brian Robson's game isn't perhaps appreciated, but he was important for Peter Shilton then. And no doubt the reaction in this crowd here, they feel that Denmark should have had a penalty. Quarter of an hour of the first half remaining. And Neil against Elkia. Osman doing well for his side, but here's Lebu, past Osman this time. And Chilton read the move. Denmark do seem to be able to breed players who can beat their opponents in a one-against-one one situation. And that quality in their forward players particularly is stretching England at the moment. lead, not looking too secure. But here's Mariner, and it was Morley who came in late, and it's a goal kick. Oh, there is my son. and stumbling past Wilkins. But then caught by Mariner's attempt to tackle back. And Denmark tried to take the free kick quickly. Bastrop protested that they were impeded. And the referee ruled in favour of the visiting side. And this is Morley. Encouraged by Bobby Robson to take players on. In his own way, the New England manager will be admiring some of the play we've seen from Denmark over the last 10 minutes in that particular respect. Oh! 
Bertelsen. Rasmussen trying to time his run forward. But striking the cross in off balance. And time perhaps for Peter Shilton to have a word there with Terry Butcher. Call for a little bit more discipline at the back. Jens Jorn Bertelsen, who plays for Sereng in Belgium. Newly promoted club to the first division there. Ricks freeing Mariner, and it's Francis arriving in the middle. It wouldn't quite drop as he would have liked. And Francis refusing to be denied. But Wilkins is by Rumford temporarily. This is Robson. One for Mariner to fight for, and the height of Trolls Rasmussen. The telling factor, and Mariner had pushed him anyway. Lebo, who got forward undetected. Bastrop. And Olsen. And did Shelton get a man to it? England think it's a goal kick. And the referee points for the corner. And Bobby Robson debates the point with Don Howe. But it was Olsen who had the shot, and Shilton was down quickly to his left and must have got a touch. Denmark's throw. Hansen. Here's Busk. Certainly, as the half has developed, Denmark have made more use of their possession. And England got the throw awarded in their favour, which surprises Lars Bastrup. Francis. Soren Lebu taking the throw, like so many of the Danish team, really owes his development as an international footballer to his work overseas. The touch from Francis, now Morley, but rather hurried the final effort. And it may even be a throw. I think in the end, the referee has pointed for a goal kick. Morley bursting through at pace, but shooting off balance. Nielsen coming from the back, Butcher missed his kick. And England survive in a rather haphazard fashion again. manager I'm sure will be pleased with one or two chances being made at the other end 
The defensive side of this England formation haven't really come to grips with the job yet. Bertelsen. Well read then by Butcher. The England back four and the World Cup, of course, were shielded by a four-man midfield. Only three midfield players out there in this game. Fed. It's an imaginative pass that Elkia finds on his right foot. He's a player with a very impressive goal-scoring record for his country, Preben Elkia. 17 goals in 25 internationals before tonight. It ran a little kindly for him against Sansom, but he couldn't hit the target. Sansom. And surely Francis Court Nielsen must be a free kick against England. Here's Ronfeld. For Lebu. Got the better of Neil. Bastrop outside him. Olsen's gone offside. England looked to appeal. And got no sympathy, in fact, from the linesman. It could have been costly as they lost their concentration on what was happening on the ball. Bastrop. It's a throw. Bastrop reacts angrily. Leerblum. Rompfed. Struck with his stronger left foot. They still joke in Denmark about the goal he scored here against England four years ago. A very left-sided player, the Danish captain, Per Rompfed. And he struck one from some 20 yards with his right foot past England that night. Touch from Mariner was a good one. Francis, though, beaten. Mariner involved again. And then Osman needing to step in. And it held up nicely for Francis. Possibilities here for England. And it was Busk back covering. Lebu's neat little header. And a good tackle by Butcher. Wilkins, now Robson, early for Ricks. Mariner, might have got a good call there from Francis. And Francis tried to place it with the left foot. And Charles Rasmussen got the angles right. On the edge of the six-yard box. Butcher taking it away from Elkia. The back pass from Phil Neal not appreciated. The full house here producing the highest receipts ever for a football match in Denmark, around £200,000. And the most expensive seat in the ground, only £7. Elkia calling for the ball, played early, and he stayed onside and couldn't finish again when very well placed, having got past Butcher. The disappointment for Elkia. Ray Wilkins has run back to talk to Butcher and Osman. But the ball played over the centre of the England defence. 
is a problem at the moment. Elkjaer timed his run well, had got the better here of Butcher, wanted to loop it over Shilton, but got too far underneath it. Francis. There's Ricks going through the middle. Rasmussen, Hansen. Now on third. Elkar this time coming short. Hansen. Now on third. Trying to slow the momentum of the move. Morley, Morley covering the danger. Alan Hansen involved on a couple of occasions in that build up. And again, here's Bastrop. Bertelsen. Nielsen let it run and then collected it from Hansen. And England struggling to get their tackles in. Still Nielsen and it's still in play. Finally won back by Sansom, but for a moment England were chasing shadows and Denmark quick to move forward again. One should remember, of course, that the Danes beat Italy here in a World Cup qualifying game just over a year ago, which perhaps is a measure of the task faced by England. It was the only defeat Italy had in their entire World Cup campaign. Butcher's clearance blocked by Olsen. And now Bertelsen. And Robson was the first to react. And England at the moment hanging on by their fingertips as the first half comes to an end. Bobby Robson's side having got the boost of the goal after seven minutes by Trevor Francis. But Denmark's confidence certainly not initially by that, but they came back strongly in the second part of the first half and might feel as they go off at half-time that they could have had a penalty. And Ray Wilkins taking the responsibility of leadership in terms of talking to Terry Butcher. And it's been a beleaguered England defence towards the end of the first half. But they lead at half-time here in Copenhagen by one goal to nil. Join us again after the break.
Welcome back to the Idretsparken in Copenhagen. England leading by one goal to nil, but having to work hard to defend an unbeaten record that's lasted over a year now. England's last defeat was in Norway. Starting again the second half. Welcome back to the Idretsparken in Copenhagen. England leading by one goal to nil, but having to work hard in the first half to defend their unbeaten record, which has lasted more than a year now. 12 games unbeaten. The last defeat was in Norway. Russell Osman, who had a testing first half, and I'm sure was relieved when the referee did not give a penalty against him when he tangled with Praven Elkia. There was criticism of England's formation towards the end of the World Cup run in terms of the numbers in midfield, but it did provide a platform. And over the second part of the first half, it seemed as though that platform was missing as the back four was left rather exposed by some invented Danish play. Olsen, who was a thorn in the side, and this is Bastrop. And if Denmark had matched the quality of their approach work, with the finishing touch, they would have been back on level terms by now. Bastrop, the defender, but beautifully worked here by Olsen. A turn away from Neil. Bastrop found that Osman was taken away from him, but he fired wide. And another let off for England in the opening minutes of the first half to bring a, another frown to the manager. Rex. The long throw from Sanson. The header from Graham Ricks. Ivan Nielsen again close to Trevor Francis. And surely gaining ground at the throw. And Bastrop caught by Butcher. The stern talking to from the referee, but that's all. whether Trevor Francis is making a point about where the throw was taken from. Certainly ran across to remonstrate with Mr. Corber. Morley. Now Wilkins. Ricks wide to the left. Robson, though, on the near side. Here's Morley. A teasing cross for the inexperienced goalkeeper. Falls Rasmussen, who seemed rooted on the near post. Solomon Busk, the defender, who conceded the corner. Wilkins to take. And it came off Nielsen, and Wilkins can try again. Right in on the line, so too is Francis. Man has now made his move, and Rasmussen also made his, and uses the ball well for Hansen. The Danes racing forward, and this is Elkier. Round Shilton, and the referee was a long way away from the incident, and looked for help from his linesman, and Lebu has grabbed hold of Mr. Korber. 
in his disgust that no penalty was given and the referee in the centre here of a serious incident. He was only just inside the England half as this incident took place. Elkjar went crashing down as Shilton came out. Mr Korber then found Soren Lerbu grabbing hold of his shoulder in protest. Lerbu has been booked but has stayed on the field. And England survived, but only just. But it was a clear case of the referee looking towards the linesman. And no signal came. Hansen. Mariner trying to buy his side some time and he accomplished it well as he was fouled from behind in England at the moment living on a precipice Morley taking on Olsen well he shows he can defend as well and it's Elkjer here the player whose pace has really embarrassed England at the back, twice feeling that penalties should have been awarded in his favour. First brought down in the first half by Osman and then by Peter Shilton at the start of the second half. Mariner's touch. England's frontman at the moment suffering from lack of service, really. They've looked lively and alert on the occasions when they've got the ball. But those occasions have grown less and less frequent. Ronfed. And now the reaction from the crowd in terms of firecrackers and smoke bombs being thrown behind Peter Shilton's goal. Memories here perhaps of Turin. Slightly different circumstances in the European Championship finals when tear gas was the problem and the players had to leave the field. And Lebu still furious, but his side weren't awarded a penalty. But surely the game cannot go on at the moment. The smoke, in fact, has been carried by the breeze behind the goal, as you can see. Problem for the spectators. The play will restart after a stoppage of one minute with the drop ball. The referee just checking the watch. And we're eight minutes into the second half. Olsen and Neil just making the interception and his anxiety showing in a back pass played at full stretch. It was not Terry Butcher, it was Phil Neil, the defender involved. England with their nerves jangling. But here's Mariner. And now Francis. Robson and Mariner inches away. Morley well blocked by Rasmussen. I'm not sure how much he knew about it. Morley's volley. The goalkeeper got his knees to it. And finally, Graham Ricks shooting wide. Bobby Robson is certainly been preaching the gospel of encouraging his players to shoot where possible 
Morley struck it well as it dropped to him after Francis had been, been involved against Busk here. Swinging into the cross, Robson's header, and then Morley's volley, Rasmussen got his body behind it. Wilkins. Elkia. Nielsen. Down on the thigh by Lars Bastrop. Now Olsen and Lerbu. Can he get there first? Well, Shilton came crashing out. It was Osman, I think, who made contact with the ball. Lerbu fell, but the appeals for a penalty this time are rather more half hearted. Denmark, in fact, have a corner. And Chilton with the fist. Time and space for Paul Mariner. Ricks. Wilkins. Robson making the run. Well, he got past Rasmussen somehow, and it was blocked by Per Romfed. Hansen. Here's Elke. And it's the sheer mobility of Denmark that's causing England problems. Although it wasn't quite so forthcoming in support then of Preben Elke. Olsen. Here's Bertelsen. And now Olsen, but Shilton should be there first. Wilkins. Neil, the time to join in going forward. He hasn't had much time to do that. The pass, in fact, found Mariner offside. Still, Neil was called into the England starting lineup when Phil Thompson dropped out. Viv Anderson was the original selection at right back, but Neil's experience was then called for when Osman had to be introduced into the centre of the defence. Lerbu. In space is Alan Hansen. And here's Olsen. The England players were drawn towards him. Neil made a good tackle. And Osman happy just to get it forward. Rockford. Nielsen. Now Busk. Olsen, well, he seemed to run into Sanson, that's what the Arsenal player is, I'm sure, thinking. The free kick is given and taken. Ole Rasmussen. Bastrop. Pulled everyone back. And Osman with a good jump and a little tangle off the ball between Russell Osman and Craven Elkia. And Tom on the blind side of the referee. Bertelsen looking for Lerbu, who took it into his stride. And it was Osman who came across so quickly and 
It was so necessary again for England. The corner played short. Olsen. And it's out kick. On another night, he might have had a hat trick. shoot rather hurriedly after England have got a little bit caught by a short corner. Francis turns to safety by Soren Busk. Here's Francis. To use Morley. Followed away by Rumpfed. Francis. England have three waiting to attack the cross, and Robson inevitably is one. Wilkins. Struck it really too sweetly, and it went straight at the goalkeeper. Pushed by Elkier. Perhaps the most blatant one of the night on Terry Butcher. went up for Francis to hold it and now Wilkins and the angle of the tackle was a little risky by Jesper Olsen in terms of conceding a free kick England are only given the throw Francis it's Lebo who comes away with the ball Looks for Hansen. Good defending by Graham Ricks. Ricks again. Osman. the more snappy of the two sides when they're in possession. And the Danes do boast an impressive record, particularly at home. They've lost only one of their last nine internationals in their own country. Overall, they've won 11 of their last 16. And they're no respecters of reputations. the Italians found out here last year. Sansom and Ricks could interplay. Still Ken Sansom. But the cross lands only on the head of Nielsen. Ricks. Now Robson. Mariner. Lebu. Francis shrugged aside, but England have the corner. 
and supporters who would think it's a little hard to believe that their side is still trailing after making a number of chances. England with just the one clear-cut opening which Trevor Francis took in the seventh minute. Problems for Rasmussen. But the throw gives Neil a chance to dispossess Olsen. Two inveterate talkers on the England bench. Pass from Battleson. Ricks. Over the last five minutes, England have enjoyed a greater share of possession. Sansom. Here's Francis. Played early, and the goalkeeper hesitated. And Busk had to take a safe course. And a risky course as Mariner came in. It was an inventive early cross from Trevor Francis. It caused the discomfort. Ricks looks to the left foot again. Butcher got his head to it. Back from Mariner. And Rasmussen can hang on on the second occasion, having been a little tentative with the punch. And if there was any uncertainty in his distribution then, it's because Charles Rasmussen is playing his first ever game under the new four-step regulation, which isn't in force in Denmark, because their season had already started when it was introduced in the summer. Drop using his body and holding off Neil and at the same time gaining a free kick. Rather telegraphed though by Bastrop in the end. Hopes and strength the telling factor. The early ball from Morley. Now Francis. Ricks has got into the middle alongside Mariner. to a tight corner, but Pusk seemed to take his legs from him. But the ball, it seemed, was already out of play. Three quarters of the way through the game. Bertelsen, it's a good touch. Lerbu responded. This is Bastrop. Another sweeping move from Denmark. Olsen now, surely that must be a penalty. Olsen tripped by Osman. Third time lucky for Denmark. They look to congratulate a fallen hero. You can see Olsen picking up a loose ball and Osman was late. And I don't think England can complain. There was another attack that carried a, more than a hint of a threat about it. Bastrop involved. And then Olsen goes down. Now, both Frank Arneson and Alan Siemensen, who take the penalties for Denmark and have done over the past few seasons, are missing from this side. It's Alan Hansen who's juggling with the ball then. They look on with anticipation. England conceded a penalty here four years ago and have done the same. 
Alan Hansen, who was the top scorer in Danish football last season, has subsequently moved to Hamburg, where he's made a good start. And now he comes face to face with Peter Shilton. 1-1. Twenty minutes remain. Decisively taken by Hansen. No chance for the goalkeeper. And if Bobby Robson has called for spirit from his side, now is the time when they really have got to show it. Certainly no injustice about the scoreline. Olsen. Here's Elkia. The Danes now in buoyant mood on and off the field. But Mariner for Neil. Robson. The first goal England have conceded since their opening game in the World Cup Finals against France. Rontvedt. Picture tells the story. England under the collar. Robson brought down. Here's Sanson for England. And now Mariner. Wilkins. For Ricks. And Ricks again. Snapping at a loose ball. Still looking for his first goal for his country, Graham Ricks. Olsen. Seth Piontek, the Danish coach, a West German by nationality. Conceding a succession of free kicks in midfield. An indication of perhaps a hint of desperation in the tackling. And it's certainly in midfield where they're getting pushed aside. Nobu brought down by Robson. And Lerbu gaining some illicit territory. And it almost cost England. The free kick clearly taken by Lerbu from the wrong place. England were half protesting. And Olsen was allowed to whip in across. And now Wilkins here he must lift his troops now. 
certainly a time for leadership on the field. Hansen. Rasmussen with a long throw. Sansom happy to help it forward. Lerbu. And here's Olsen. Osman thought twice about diving in on that occasion. Hansen with a good turn. the hand, didn't make contact, Nielsen cut out well for England by Butcher, now Wilkins, Mauna, Wilkins again and it's Francis, Getting in front of Busk and then losing his balance at a crucial moment for England. Ricks tries to retrieve the situation. But it ends with a goal kick. And England's forward threats have been tepid in the second half. And the Big crowd here, sensing perhaps that a famous victory could be in the offing. 13 minutes left, it's still 1-1. But psychologically, the mood is with Denmark. Touch from Hansen. A miscue from Osman, collected by Bastrop. Neil hesitated. Olsen and Neil made an important interception there for England. Bertelsen was in space to Olsen's left had the pass got through. And the crowd enjoyed a touch there from their captain. Olsen. Ricks tangling with Hansen. And here's Wilkins. They just aren't picking up Olsen's runs from midfield. And here's Elkier. Chilton to the rescue. It could easily have been another penalty. Elkier turned. Kept on his feet. But Peter Shilton was off his line and gave him no space to aim at. Goalkeeping of the highest order and how England needed it. Hansen, one touch to control, and the second was well struck. And Chilton well positioned again. Rebu in a hurry to take what he thought was a Danish throw. Robson. Francis. And it was Wilkins with the back header. He'd taken up an advanced position. And a spot of handball. 
ends the danger to the Danish goal. And England are warming up a substitute. Bobby Robson is looking perhaps for the introduction of Ricky Hill, who's going through some stretching motions down on the touchline. Has not yet taken the tracksuit top off. And Busk concedes a corner. And also David Armstrong is up from the bench. Of your picture, Bobby Robson is down on the touchline talking to Armstrong and to Hill. Francis, the substitutions might not be necessary. Francis restores the lead. Denmark went into this game feeling that they might be vulnerable at set pieces. And England profit from a corner. Taken by Wilkins. Butcher with a touch at the near post, and Francis gets his second. And Bobby Robson has sat down again. The goal, one must say, totally against the pattern of this second half. And it comes with ten minutes remaining. England back in front. And here's Ronford. Now, what response will that induce from the Danes, who rode the blow of going behind in the seventh minute so well? But they've done so much in the second half, and they trail again, and they must chase back here against Mariner. The stadium has gone quiet. And now England can take their time. Bertelsen. Wilkins was late. But very little animosity in this game. Elke, who has reacted on a couple of occasions, and Robson is cautioned. Bobby Robson wants to bring on Ricky Hill for his first cap. And it's Tony Morley who will be brought off. Bastrop got his head to it. Then Elkia. Back from Bertelsen. And Shilton there first. Foul by front on Francis. Which may well give. England the chance to make their substitution and a moment that Ricky Hill will never forget. He comes on for his first appearance in the senior side with just six minutes remaining as Morley goes off to give some strength perhaps to the right-hand side of England's midfield. Hill's first task is to chase back. Bastrop. Shilton again. Brilliant reflexes from Elkier's shot, which was instantly struck and arrowing towards the far corner. 
Elker acknowledging the part played by Bastrop. Lebu's early ball laid off so sensibly there by Bastrop and Shilton beat it away. Hansen. Well, Osman got the ball, but I rather feel that he got Bastrop first. But the sympathy of the referee was with England. Hill. Fouled by Ronfed. Francis. Who's doing a spot of pushing. There, Boo. Now Bertelson. England certainly in no position to relax. They've spent so much of this match on the defensive. And not by choice. Bertelson. Stabbed forward by Bastrop. Elkia. And it was on the target again. And now Hansen. And Chilton has performed heroics for England. Peter Chilton off his line at the feet of Alan Hansen. A save bravely made and perfectly executed. Steered back by Robson. Hill. And they're looking to keep a share of possession now. And for once, make the Danes do the chasing. Sansom. It's aimed for Francis. He was looking for players arriving on the edge of the area. Overcommitted forward. Lebu furious with the movement off the ball in front of him then. <laughs> Set Piontek, who wears the look of frustration now. Bastrop, Phil Neal's ability, which has been honed at Liverpool in terms of interceptions, was crucial for England then. Mariner, and here's Hill, and it's Rasmussen's turn to time his movement off his line to good effect. Mariner catching Denmark square. Now Hill. Mariner again, three waiting for the cross, which was a poor one. Lincoln nearly gaining some advantage. The mix up between Busk and Charles Rasmussen. Inside the last two minutes of normal time. Lerberg. Crowd disappointed at the mistake from Ivan Nielsen. The full house here who have been given so much by their team in everything except finishing. And maybe they will say in terms of referees' decisions. Sansom. Now Francis. This is Rex. Francis can use up time here if he so wishes. 
finally a wasted ball from Rex in both senses both in terms of the accuracy of it and in terms of giving quick possession back to Denmark Butcher checking off Olsen. Still Olsen. Brilliantly done. Jesper Olsen with a goal of supreme quality. England just could not get a tackle in. And a 21-year-old who is making his mark so rapidly on the international scene with a solo goal that delights the crowd here. Three defenders to beat, a shrug of the shoulders, and they all went the wrong way. And Shilton left exposed, could bring off no miracles this time. In the very last minute of the game, with England sensing a victory, Olsen again. It's all over. England begin under Bobby Robson with only a share of the spoils. A dramatic finale. Twice in front through Trevor Francis. Alan Hansen with a penalty there. Congratulating the man who gave us a sensational finale. Jesper Olsen. A scoreline that England certainly can't complain about. Bobby Robson's call for spirits was well answered by his players, but time is surely needed for more refinement of the style. And certainly England struggled defensively throughout, as Jesper Olsen showed in the most dramatic of finales. A final score in Copenhagen. It's Denmark 2, England 2.
a night that has produced so much in terms of fine attacking football has had its unsavoury facets as well. Trouble again on the terraces involving supporters wearing Union Jacks. Only 500 official members of the England Supporters Club allowed here. But others came unofficially and must have acquired tickets where none seemed available. And those are pictures that need no words. Thank you. 